Maxi, Andrew Moore departs Box Hill this year. What does what's he mean to the club to this point? Well, he, he's been been our most consistent player across three years. He's he's a premiership captain. Uh, he's in a, the Box Hill All Stars team. He's a best and fairest winning in a premiership year. So he leaves with a lot of experience, a lot of um, a lot of great experiences, hopefully from his part, but also from ours. We're really going to miss his playing ability and what he does out in the field, but also his leadership and what he brings off the field. What were some of his best traits on field? Well, he's just a warrior. His contested side of his game is what really stood out. Think back to mainly last year, 2018, the, and the Premiership and the times he he really lifted the whole team on his back and, and carried him, particularly clearances. Like He had a great connection with Mark Pitney, uh, and that physical side of his game is what, what we're really going to miss. How do we go about replacing someone like him? Well, we've got Luke Meadows in our system and, and he's sort of been playing an understudy role to Andrew in, in his first year. So we're, we're really hoping Luke will then be able to step up and, and fill that spot. Um, I think the leadership void that is left now with Andrew having left, um, a lot of leaders from two years ago having left, we're going to be relying on, on Luke again to fill that spot. Damien Mercedes, Nathan Mullinger McHugh, and then hopefully some young guys like Braden Kilpatrick um, Lockie Walker, Vince Ducci to step up in that area. But it's going to take some time and they're going to be different to, to Andrew. So it's it's sort of exciting for us, but we're really going to miss him. Talk about captaining a VFL Premiership side. What was his leadership style like? It's obviously a difficult difficult job to captain a VFL side. Um, how did he go about it on that front? Yeah, it is difficult because you're trying to captain his 29 Box Hill teammates plus you know, 15 or 16 Hawthorne guys who were playing with him on a weekend. And I know he, he had some learning moments in his first year of doing it, but he, he grew and grew and grew. So he was a really lead by example player. So what you see is what you get out there. Um, he wasn't a, a ranter and a raver, it wasn't his style, but that seemed to gel really well with the Hawthorne group and his Box Hill teammates. So we know we know what he was about. We don't need our next leader to come in and, and be Andrew Moore, but um, if they can be Andrew Moore in a playing sense, it'd be really good. 